I don't think you guys are ready for this barnyard find. Um, I have no words, but I think the best way to start this video is to just start showing you. So welcome to today's video. I'm here with a friend called John. He's a British guy that lives here in Yokohama, Japan. Hello, mate. He's a rad guy. He loves his JZXs. I do. And um, behind this gate, <laughs> what have you done? I know, I know. <laughs> what have we done? All right, prepare for Fs and chat, boys. Help me with this thing. How does this thing open? Oh, boy. This is seriously like, like Forza Horizon barnyard finds here, man. Something for everybody. In the <laughs> there literally you can find is. Everything. You can find everything. <laughs> everything. Um, I'm gonna start with the first thing that's here. Uh, what is this? Like a little? It's on T's too. It's a little. This is Rohab, my friend. This is his daily driver. I daily? His daily this driver. This does not look like a daily driver. Is it open? There's mold growing all over the seat, dude. It was a daily driver until about a week ago, maybe. A week know. ago, yeah. and look at that! Oh, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, the this bumpers, thing's cool. Some S15 bumpers. That's awesome. It's like a treasure chest. Dude, this thing is sick. I ain't gonna lie, I actually love this thing. The seat's good, it's got a cage. Yeah, so one thing about Japan is it gets really humid here, so things will like get mold on them very quickly if there's any moisture in there. It's a super duper Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Huh. So this would be called like a Honda Jazz in Australia. What is it here? Honda Fit. A uh, Fit? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Little time attack kind of daily car. Grip car. Is that what he would call it? He would call it that kind of car. That kind of car. <laughs> that car. All sorts happens with that car. <laughs> um, and then over here is some van that's full of something. Spare wheels, tires. Doors. Doors. Some truck under a tarp. Is that a Noah? That looks like a Noah. Very cool. I think you guys are gonna be more interested in stuff like this. And as you can see, it goes on and on up the back there. Um, so Turo V Chaser. Factory manual. Factory manual, that's actually rare. It is now. Yeah. Some nice, some nice cranes, all right. That's pretty decent. Oh dude, I love these things. A little like, Handbrake extension, yeah. Because you gotta you gotta take this out to get leverage, so they normally do that. That's it. Very cool. Power FC as well. That's it. Oh yeah, this thing's ready to party. Diff and everything. Yep, diff, turbo. And this thing is this thing for sale? It is for sale. There you go. It is for sale. Well, I'll give you some details. There'll be some info in the description as well if you guys want to pick up any of these cars that are available for purchase that are here. There are some that are obviously personally owned um, by either John or Roab. Yep. So. Keep moving through here. We have this JZX100 as well. This looks like a Tourer as well. Yeah. This thing's pretty clean. OEM wheels still. It's gonna be uh, auto. It's gonna yep. Be changed to a manual. A manual. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's good seeing a lot of these auto ones getting picked up and switched to manual. This thing looks like a beast. This looks like my kind of car, man. It looks like your car, man. It does. It's just got actually, too many I actually, doors. I actually prefer the pink though, dude. I think you should rock that a bit more. You've got it on your S15 already. Yeah, it's true. That's what I was thinking about. This thing's rough though. Oh, well, I mean, it's not rough. Like, it's just drift spec. It is absolutely rough. It is rough? Okay. It is rough. Dude, I like it. Cage. Okay, the rear door doesn't open. I'll close that again. But this thing's sick. <laughs> All stripped out, caged, ready for some party. Party time used to be an auto by the looks of that cluster. Very nice. But there is one thing. That Hang on. What is with this trans tunnel? There can't be an RB25 transmission in that. That's weird. Just doesn't sit right, huh? No. Now I'm peaked because that kind of looked like an R154. Shut up. Okay. This thing would be fun. Dude, it's so wrong seeing intake on that side and exhaust on this side. I don't hate it though. It'd be a really reliable drift car. Mm. How much you want for this? Buck fifty? <laughs> Somewhere around there, man. It's a little bit. Of this a thing's nerve. cool. It is. That would be like a perfect like Skyline enthusiast drift missile at Evisu for sure. I'd be Which down for that. A better engine transmission. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like a reliable Evisu car. That's it. 
because it just wouldn't die. Mm. And parts for them, like diffs and stuff, are cheaper. Dude, this thing? Nice Zenki. Australian customer. It's going to Sydney. Sydney? Sydney. That's kind of cool. This thing... It's been stacked around 10 years. It's got 555 injectors. It's got turbo, manifold, differential, close mission. Wow. Mm. That's pretty cool. But it does look like it's been in the... Uh, it looks like it's been in the sea, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's been sitting there for a long time. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought this was in auction less than a month ago. Less than a month ago, a month you picked ago, this up. Picked up from USS Tokyo, yeah. So this obviously was in like just sitting outside somewhere before it went to auction. It's been sat in someone's yard for about 10, 12 years. If you look, the last time this car had shut. Hesse 8. Yeah. That, yeah, that's literally like... 21. So this would have been 11 years ago. Yeah. August 11 years ago, this was last on the road. That's cool, but that's when all those like really cool rare collector parts and stuff were around. That's right. Dude, this place is such a barnyard. It's a pretty cool looking, you know, see a roadster? These used to sell for so cheap. Yo, it's got the Nardi shifter and the Nardi wheel, all wood grain. That's actually super legit. Very cool, and look at this. Looks like the soft top hasn't uh, got a hole in it. That's actually kind of super rare. Very cool. I need to get myself one of these over here. Got another JZX. Yo, what are these headlights? They're super weird, trippy looking. Gatling gun headlights. Yeah. Popular upgrade. That's quite nice. Yeah, I remember seeing like a couple in Up Garage that were smashed up, but they still wanted a lot of money for them, and I was curious what they were. Someone put halo rings on these ones, so I'm not too keen. Yeah. It's, it's definitely an interesting look. It kind of reminds me of like the, uh, what was that Nissan car that they did that kind of stuff with a lot? The one that they stole the throttle body off a lot. Oh, now I got a. The 80 mil throttle body. Ah, oh, now I can't remember. It's killing me. All right. Anyways, JZX 90. You know, I could never get behind the 90s, eh? Why is that? I don't know. Just the twin turbo non VVTi. More of a crumple zone when you start using them for max you know. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing's cool. It's clean though. Definitely looks like it used to be an old granddad's car or something. Pretty much all of these cars were originally used for that, right? You notice something about this one? What? You haven't noticed? Noticed what? Take a walk around it. Come on, Sammy. This was easy for you. What? It's... Take a walk around the back. Hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no, this is a JZX90. Yo! Didn't spot that, did you? No, because I remember walking up from the rear, and I was like, oh, maybe, I was just confused for a second, thinking maybe that 90 was further back or something. Yeah. Dude, that's cool. I've never seen a 90 with a 100 front. Weird, huh? Yeah, it looks so good, though. Definitely reminds me of my 33.4. That's totally something I should get. I want something like this. I think it's definitely Vegemite. Yeah, thank you. For sure. Aren't you more of a pro mic guy coming from England? <laughs> <laughs> more of a cup of tea and biscuit kind of guy. Hey, speaking of, what's the time? Tea time yet? <laughs> oh man, this is this is bad. That's cool. I love that. Different, huh? Very different. It's kind of cool. Customer's car. Yep. Dude, it's so weird seeing a JZX hood and it come up and it's a, it's a non VVTi yeah. twin turbo. Very cool. I love that. Very That's cool, sick. Really yeah. Very weird. So bizarre. It fits surprisingly well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, no, it does. It's so good. I kind of really dig it. I like it. I like it a lot. It makes it look like way wider in the front and the rear with it too, with the fenders. Yeah, I dig that a lot. So cool. He wasn't a 90 kind of guy a minute ago. Maybe you're converted now. Well, only because of the chaser front end. Mm. You know? Mm. I mean, I definitely have to replace that for the VVTi motor. Twins are sketchy, dude. This thing's cool. Caldina. Is this the all-wheel drive one? I'm not sure. This is one of Rahab's cars, so I'm not too... So, Toyota made one of these, uh, a model. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, it's all-wheel drive. And uh, I think this one is it, because it's the GT model. 
It's an all. It, it was like a pretty much a competitor for the. Um, what was it? Like they were Toyota made these essentially to like you know compete against Subarus and things like that. Four cylinder beams motor, but turbo and all wheel drive. Kind of like the GT4 Celica. Very cool car. Yo, I don't see this many of these anymore. What is this thing? Just like a drift missile waiting? Nah, it's, yeah, it's just for sale. It's just, uh... Tempting. One bought accidentally, actually. One bought accidentally. That happens at the auctions. We know about that. It does. This one's still here from previous videos. Whoa. Yeah, if you guys remember, you probably saw this video going around on Facebook. This went a bit viral. This is a genuine TM Evo. What were they? Yeah, they the RS, yeah, genuine. Two hundred and eighteen made. Yeah. Adam LZ's just picked one up. Yeah. This is pretty much the same model. Which? What did they call them? Like essentially, like a five and a half or six and a half. Six point five. Six point five. Five is the Tommy Mac. Yeah. And then they made the Tommy Mac RS edition, which is the the rarest one you can get. Um, however, they're still selling the the red edition Tommy Mac and Evos for more money but okay i'm not too sure that's why. confusing yeah this is the the rally edition this is the only one that was made for the homologation of mm. rallying this thing's cool and this thing still runs it does it runs it drives yeah it's got drives keys, okay front and rear dude and the cage can i lift this up can. wow it's really not that bad condition it wasn't that bad, like a year ago we bought it from a guy in Tokyo actually. Yeah. Um a university student. Wow. And there's no rust there's no rust under it at all. Um it's all it's all pretty solid, surprisingly. Yeah. Ah, oh, this looks cool. Good, yeah. It just like it's been sitting for a while, like what, a year? I've had it sat here for probably pushing almost two years now. Two years. So it's just got all the vegetation on it and stuff. Yep. Well, this thing's sick. That's definitely like a restoration project. Are you selling this one? I am probably going to sell it because one of you guys who are watching will probably do something better with it than what we are because we haven't got the time at the minute or the funds to be putting into this car. All right. So, yeah, hit up those that info in the description. If anyone's ever wanted a TM Evo, now's your chance, especially considering this is like a perfect fixer-upper. Dude, it's kind of sad. I ain't gonna lie. I want to punch you. I know. I don't want to punch myself. <laughs> I bought it. This was ideally this was gonna be done in about six months. From when you bought it? From when I bought it. And so far it. Hasn't Jeez. Been... So that's that's a depressing thing to look at then. It is. That's so the kind of thing that keeps you up at night. I bet. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me. Sure. Please, someone save this. Uh, he'll do you a deal. <laughs> save it. I can give you a little bit of a discount, you know, because it needs a little bit of polish and wax. <laughs> A true car salesman <laughs> move right there. That's it, yeah. You know, it might need some new tires. <laughs> I'll uh, put four new tires on it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this thing actually does move and run and start. So yeah. it all just... the oils were checked. The fuel was changed um, all previous to buying it. Okay. Uh, and it, it ran fine. It ran absolutely fine. We Jeez. Probably done about 100 kilometers in it. But nah. Yeah, it definitely goes hard, that's for sure. Yeah. Man, it'd be so cool if I had the funds and the time and the space to to have this. I would. This would totally be a project I'd be into because I do want an Evo, and this is the right model that I want too. All right, I'm gonna stop looking at it because that's depressing. Wow. Funny truck. One of Rohab's customers. This one. This is sick. So these were used by like tradesmen a lot over here. Hey. They're hard to find now, though, huh? They are. I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've always dreamed of owning one of these and doing a CA swap on them. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of people who do. This one's actually supposed to get an SR20DE swap. Oh, that's cool. From an S15. Yeah, so, like an Alltech one? Yes, actually. Yeah. Yes. So the engine's just been taken out and it's supposed to be put in this. Dude, time soon. interior, this is mint. I have not seen one this clean in a long time. Very cool. Yo, that's a really old school HK steering wheel. I got a fuel pump just sitting on there on the seat. Yeah, this thing's in really good condition, like body panel wise, because these were used by tradesmen, so they were beaten up, and like you know, tradies don't care what they back into. I'd like to put a GTR front end That's on cool. it. That's cool. Yeah. The C10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're pretty expensive too. Huh? Yeah, 
Now, I've seen a couple guys rolling around with like Hakoska fronts and stuff on them. Very clean, very cool car. I don't think we need to look at this thing. We all we all know it's a V35 Skyline or an Infiniti in the States, wherever you're from, but they're trash cars. They're kind of like a Holden Commodore of Japan. <laughs> you, you know that's a touchy thing to say. <laughs> We're getting eaten alive here by mosquitoes, but... Dude, was this like an LS400? What are these things called here? This looks like an LS400. It's a Lexus, right? Yeah, it has to be. Dude, this is sad. Does, is it open? Everything's good. Does it start? Oh, it's dead, dead. Yeah, this is totally like an LS400 or something. Very cool. No, it's not. It's not? No, it's a C34 Laurel. A what? A C30? C34 Laurel. Laurel? Laurel. Shut up. You're right. I'm an idiot. I didn't you can't, even... You can't really tell what it is. I can't it's tell what it is. And I saw the L's on the wheel and was like, maybe it's a Lexus. Yeah, that's a Laurel. So this will have an RB in it. It will. Nice. Okay. That's what a good parts car. Dude. This is just depressing. People are going to send you death threats for this. This is not my car. <laughs> not my car. Oh my gosh. Poor RB20, one day you will breathe again, I promise you. Dude, if you don't, if he doesn't save this, I will come here and take this. So we got to have a little discussion about this car, right? We do. It's a 32, right? Yeah. Oh, four door. What wheels are those? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I'm Australian, so like walking through cobwebs and stuff doesn't bother me. This is legit, like, barnyard find here. Abandoned. This is practically abandoned. Bush, We're literally in the bush. Let's go for a walkabout. <laughs> this thing's cool. This little Subaru K truck. I don't even know what it, what life is anymore. But wow, look at this frame, guys. That's just depressing. Well, hopefully something. You just got a tree just chilling on it. Yeah, I know. Like trees and vines. What is going on? Very cool. Yeah. I need a bell, man. Like, I need to ring the bell. Shame. <laughs> but, nah, apparently, what did he say? Like, Roab had plans for this. This is one of his yeah. personal cars, Roab's cars. Yeah, what's the reason you're going to be a missile if you use as a missile? Cause it was... Oh, so it was going to die no matter what? It was going to die no matter what. But... Okay. Well, I do like RB20s. Maybe at some point I'll have the opportunity to save this thing. Although, that crank looks pretty rusty back there. Yeah. Oh, look. I found the dipstick. Yeah, should we check the oil? Should we check the oil? <laughs> this is depressing, man. I don't want to know. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I do want to look inside the engine bay of this Laurel, though. I still can't believe I thought this was an LS400. I'm an idiot. I didn't even see the Laurel on the steering wheel. Oh, we got it to pop. Yo! Single cam RB20. These are cool motors because they look identical to the RB30 uh, single yeah. cam in yeah. Australia. Yeah, so pretty much the motor in this is junk. It would be better to have that in there. <laughs> oh man, that's cool though. All right, C34 Laurel with a single cam RB20. Some 34s came with that motor. Did you know that? Like base, base, base model GTs. No, you could get a sing like a straight single cam. RB20. Where are they? It's here in Japan. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not many people know about them because there was no, only so little of them. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. I haven't come across one. I no, think. I've only ever seen one in my lifetime, and I was like, this has, this is not factory. And then I did a bunch of research and found out a small number were made, yeah, right. like super cheap base model ones. Nissan did it just so like people who wanted a 34 Skyline could have it, just but it was enough. just really cheap. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there you guys go. This is, I guess what happens when you live in Japan and collect cars and then forget about them. Dude, that TM Evo. Someone please hit up John and buy it and save it. I might DM Adam later and be like, hey man, I found a project for you. Dude, you need to top up your uh, blinker fluid. You could put a goldfish in that. 
This is this is gonna make a lot of people mad. I hope you know that. Yeah. But. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at the storage yard. <laughs> the scrap yard. The scrap yard. <laughs> um, there's definitely some really cool cars here and some things that I hope some of you guys are going to pick up and save. Um, I guess it's just kind of like what happens. Sometimes, like, you get involved in things and you think you're going to do something and you buy a project car and then it ends up sitting up the back and eventually you think one day you'll do something with it, but... Sometimes it's better to just move on, right? Right, John? That's better it. for someone else to grab it. <laughs> grab it while you can before it decides to... Uh... Before you change your mind and decide to fix it. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put all of uh, John's contact details and stuff in there. If any of you are actually interested in like that TM Evo or anything else here that we mentioned that was for sale, please get in contact with him. As well as if you're just after anything else at the auctions, definitely get in contact with them. But uh, we're probably not done seeing John around. We'll probably see him some more. But... Make sure you smash that like button, write us a comment. I, I expect a lot of upset people over some of the cars in here. Just kind of, I'm kind of upset too, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, I I want some of those cars. I wanna save them, I wanna, I have a problem. Anyways guys, like I said, smash that like button, write us a comment, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out, Jamata.